just don't understand God is for me When life doesn't go the way I planned God is for me Welcome to Sunday School. Welcome. I'm so glad I'm here today. What about you? I'm glad too. I'm glad they're here. Yes, this is awesome. And we are going to have so much fun today. Have you ever had a question or a problem of you didn't know what to do? I've had lots of them. Lots of them? Yeah. Well, what do you do? What do you do when you have that kind of a situation? Sometimes I Google. I what? Google it. It's you easy. Google it? Google it. Oh, merciful Monica. When you come to Sunday school, you don't Google it. Then how do I find the answers to the problems? You ready? Uh -huh. You Bible it. Bible it? Yes, you Bible it. Hmm. The Bible has the answer to every single question or problem you've got. That's true. We'll learn here in just a second. But what is the first thing we always do? Pray. Pray. So you bow your head and close your eyes while we pray, and we're going to ask Jesus to help us to have so much fun today and learn about his word. Jesus, we love you today, and we're so excited about being here in Sunday school, and we're asking you to touch every boy, every girl. Help us today to learn how awesome your word is, the Bible, and how we can know more about you. And we ask it today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yes, I'm so excited. I waited all day today when I got my letter of whether or not that I am going to be the leading role in the school play. I think you can do it. Oh! And what I've been waiting because I've been practicing so hard. Oh, I want to have the lead singing part. I've been practicing so hard. My throat kind of hurt. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have oh. our letters. I think I am gonna get the lead role. I think I did really well. I practiced my curtsy the whole week yes. because did you see that beautiful blue dress? Oh. It's so pretty. Oh. It's sparkly. It is sparkly. You're gonna look so pretty in that. I'll have to get new shoes. Oh, I'm so yeah. excited. Okay, all right. Um, okay, I'm so excited. Okay, ready? Okay, you go first. I can't. Yeah, you first. No, you first. You first. Oh. You first. No, you should go first. You even write your sheet music. I have to practice. Okay. All right, you go first. Okay. Maybe. Ready? No. Okay. Well, what did you do together? We'll do it together. Ready? Okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Ready? No. Okay. No. I can't. No. I can't. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just know I've got it. Okay. 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 Calm down. All right. How about we count? Three, two, one. Perfect. Three, two, one. Okay. Ready? Okay. 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 Three, Three, two. two. One. What did, <gasps> what did your letter say? Just give me a minute, please. What did your letter say? <laughs> My letter said that I did not get the lead role in the play, even after all of my curtsying and all of my practicing, and I memorized all the lines, but I'm just the person who brings the costumes to everyone. You don't get to wear the blue dress? No. Mine says that I get, <laughs> I get to turn the page toward the lead singer. What? You turn. Well, I didn't practice the turn pages. I'm a costume carrier, and you're a page turner. A page turner. What are we gonna do? We, I oh, did not. I, 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 I told, I told my friends that I was gonna be. I, 
it, it, it'll be okay. You're no, older. No, it's not gonna be okay. My mom wanted to see me sing. She got me lessons. And my dad. I want. I need to practice. I'm gonna get paper cuts. You're over there and you're crying and I'm just really upset because I really thought I was gonna be and I told everybody I was gonna be. What are we gonna do? I don't know. It's so embarrassing. What do you do? My feelings are hurt and I'm so sad now. Now I have to practice turning pages. I've been turning pages all my life. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, where's my phone? I'm gonna have to Google, what do you do? What do you do? I need to Google this. You see my phone? No, I don't see your phone. But remember earlier? We don't Google it. We Bible it. What? Oh, uh, wait, Bible. Wait a minute. See We're gonna Bible it. We're gonna find out. I mean, we're in a mess. We're embarrassed. We didn't get the role that we thought we were gonna get. And so we don't know what to do. So we can't Google. How are you gonna Google? Dear Google, what did I do? Yeah, no, we're gonna Bible it and find out what God has to say about it. Okay, ready? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna swipe. Okay. Are you ready? Here yeah. we go. What is this? How 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 did I get here? How did I get this Bible? Oh, I remember. I guess we Bibled it, but where am I? It says here, 1 Samuel 16. What? 1063 BC? 1063 BC? I, I don't even think that anybody in 1063 BC would even know how I felt about not being able to be the princess in the school play. I don't even think they had toasters, let alone plays. I don't know. And these sheep here. Um. <laughs> Who are you? Hi, I'm David. David? Yeah. Welcome to my pasture. Yeah, I kind of see your sheep there, and they've been banging, you know. I mean, bah. How do you do that all day? Oh, well, I find things to do. Okay. Watching the sheep is busier than it looks. Okay. All right. That one has a bell. That's uh -huh. fun. <laughs> um, well, uh, I, I'm i sorry just to butt in here to your pasture, but um, I was bibling it on an iPad. So. Sure. Right. So. <laughs> uh, so, uh. Uh, did you hear me talking about the play? Uh, yeah. Not quite sure what you're talking about, but I like to play. Yeah, I well. Play with the sheep. Yeah, well, this is kind of like I was so wanting to be a princess, and then instead of being a princess, I got chosen just to carry the costume. So instead of wearing the beautiful blue dress, I just get to, like, make sure it's ready for the person who gets to wear it. I mean, just working with costumes. I was very disappointed and I got mad and then we got all embarrassed because what are we gonna do? I mean, we told everybody that's what we were gonna be and then, well, we got a letter and, you know, and carry the costume and turn the page. Uh, well, I don't understand everything you're saying. I Maybe you're from another country or something, but I think I another I, time. I think I can relate a little bit. Did you know our country is at war right now? War? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't have a sword or a shield or anything. Well, so what happened to me? I have seven older brothers. Wow. And we found out that bad guys were coming against our country. Okay. And so all of us were getting ready. We were getting ready to go fight. Okay. And I was going to be a soldier. And I exercised and exercised. I practiced getting uh -huh. those. And I was going to fight like a good soldier. Okay. And the time came and all of us got ready. 
Then my dad looked at me, the youngest, the shortest, and said, David, you get to go watch the sheep. Uh. of myself really yeah so you know what i did instead what did you do david i started singing to god singing to god yeah and the more i did the better i felt hmm. and i started to realize that he is with me no matter what he's with me when i'm lonely he's with me out here with the sheep uh-huh yeah God loves me and he's with me. Wow. And I decided I had a choice to make. Uh-huh. I was going to be the best at watching sheep as I could be. Hmm. Yeah. I was going to keep them safe. You know, exciting things do happen out here. Really? Did you know there are lions out here? Lions? Yep. I... How... How am I going to be safe with a lion? You didn't tell me there were lions out here. And isn't this lion lunch? Well, I'll, I'll take care of the lion comes. Don't worry. You? Yeah. Little David? I, I mean, I'm sorry, before. but... I, did just the other day, uh -huh. there was a hungry lion came and wanted some sheep, wanted some lamb for lunch. Okay. It came after one of my lambs. Right. And God helped me. I killed that lion. You? Yep. And the sheep are safe. And you want to know what else? What? One day there's a hungry bear that came too. A bear? There's lions and bears? Yep. How did I get here in this place? Well, don't worry. Okay. If a bear comes, I'll take care of it. Um. 
Yep. Well, when God helps me, I can do anything with his help. Oh, okay. So I killed the bear too. Okay. And the sheep are still safe. Okay. Yeah. That That's interesting. So you just came out here and you just decided to be the best shepherd that you could be what your dad asked you to do. You had yep. a good attitude and yep. you sang songs to God and God helped you. Yeah. It's hmm. been amazing. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? What? I see here in 1 Samuel 16 that it says your name right here. And cool. It, and it says that Jesse, is that your dad? Yeah. It says that Jesse had seven sons. You said you had seven brothers. Yeah. But what does it mean here that it says that the seven sons passed before Samuel? Who's Samuel? He's the man of God around here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what happened? What does it mean they passed before him? Well, the man of God, Samuel, he came and each of my brothers okay. walked in front of him. All right. Because God told him that one of us, what God had a very special plan for. Okay. All my brothers walked in front of him. All right. And God didn't tell him which one of those was the one for something special. Oh. So finally Samuel asked, Jesse, don't you have any more sons? My dad said, yeah, there's old David. He's the youngest, he's watching the sheep. My dad didn't even think of me when the man of God came. Okay. So then the man of God said, well, hurry and get him. I was just out here watching the sheep. My dad comes and tells me we have a special guest. So I was excited. I got invited to see the special guest. Okay. And I came, like my dad said, and it was the man of God, Samuel. And what happened? God told him that I was the one. <gasps> that you? God had a special message for. How exciting. Yeah. Wow. What does that does that book there tell you what happened next? Um, let me see. Samuel said unto Jesse, are there any other children? You said that. Yeah. And then in verse 12, it said, and he brought him in. And now, oh, it said, the Lord said, arise and anoint him, for he is the one. That was you? That was me. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. It was then that I realized that it don't matter that I'm not the tallest uh -huh. or even really the strongest or the soldier, but God loves me because he made me. He, he made me and he loves me and he has a special plan for my life. He loves you, not because you were any of those things you wanted to be. Yeah but he loves you because of who he made you to be. Yeah. You know what, David? That gives me a lot to think about. Thank you, David. You're welcome. Do you have a toaster? A, a what? <laughs> I don't think he does. All right. Thanks, David. I, I think I'll try to find my friend. Ah, you're welcome. Nice meeting you. Nice, nice meeting, meeting all of you guys. Whoa. I was just in Bible land and my clothes are different and but I have my backpack. Oh, it's just like it was when we came and we Bibled it. But where's Laughing Liz? I haven't seen her the whole class in time. Merciful Monica, where have you been? I was over there. Uh, we swiped and all of a sudden I was in Bible land. I was in 1063 with sheep all around me. I wasn't in our research. Yeah, yes. And do you know they don't have toasters back then? <gasps> no Pop-Tarts? No Pop-Tarts. But I was there and all of a sudden, I just heard all these sheep and there was this little boy and his name was David. And that's where my Bible, 
when I got to Bible land, mm -hmm. there was a Bible in my hand turned to 1 Samuel. And it was right where the, in the Bible, it was talking about David. Remember how we said we were going to Bible it to find out what to do? Yeah. Because I didn't get to be the lead part in the play. And yeah. you didn't get to be, don't cry, but the lead singer in the play. And I was just saying, what am I doing here? And there was that little boy. And do you know that he had a similar problem? I did not. Yes. David was the youngest of seven children. Whoa. He was the eighth boy in his family. And he wanted to be a soldier and he wanted to be brave and go out and fight. Yeah. And that's really what he had practiced to do. Huh? But when it came down to it, just like us, we really practiced hard. But when it came down to it, I'm a costume carrier and you're a page turner. page turner. He was a shepherd. His dad told him to go out into the pasture and be a shepherd, but he didn't throw a fit, kind of got mad like I did. And he didn't cry like you did. Really? No. You know what he did? What did he do? He told me that he just decided that he was going to be the best shepherd that he could be. The very, and you know what he did? He sang to God. Sang to God? Yes. Even though he was disappointed? Yes, he sang to God. I could sing to God. You could. Hmm. I could try that. Yes. And so after I listened to David's story, how that God was out there and there was excitement still mm -hmm. out in the pasture, there was a lion and a bear. I'll tell you about that later. Okay. But then David he just decided to be who God made him to be mm -hmm. because God made us with special talents and skills and abilities, things that are easy for us to do and things that we really enjoy doing. And sometimes it's not exactly what we want to do. And sometimes when we get embarrassed because we say we're going to be something great and then we aren't, then we have to understand that as long as we just are who God wanted us to be, we just are at the best of what we're asked to do. So I made up my mind. I'm gonna okay. be the best costume carrier that I can possibly be. I'm gonna get that beautiful dress. I'm gonna make sure that it is perfect, that there's no lint on it, nothing on it. And I'm gonna make sure that that lead character is with her dress when she needs it. And I'm just going to be the best I can be at what I've been asked to do with a good attitude. Yeah. So I don't have to be the lead singer, but God still loves me. Yes. Well, then I'm going to be the best page turner that singer has ever had. All right. And it's going to be awesome. Yes. I think you can. I don't feel sad. Me either. This is going to be great. Yes. I am so glad we Bibled it. I am too. So much better than Googling it. Oh, much better. And I, can we have, eat our what? snack now? Yeah, but I keep hearing sheep. It just keeps, maybe it's because I was there. Uh, no. Um, well, my snack is gone. What? But I do know why you've been hearing sheep now. What? <laughs> How did he get in Hey! Well, he's so cute! Hi! I think I've seen you before. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But I'll tell you what. I think that this week, what you need to do is, whatever you've been asked to do, do it with your very best ability and with a good attitude. Yeah. Because that's what David did. And that's what God wants us to do. See you next week. Bye.